Good afternoon. I would like to discuss fireworks with you this afternoon. Fireworks in your dog and how to help them get through the upcoming fireworks days. The first thing to know is to never bring your dog to a fireworks display because it is too terrifying. It is way too loud, way too bright. Most dogs will never be able to deal and it will be just terrifying. Uh, don't bring them in the car and leave them in the car at the fireworks display either. That's t even more terrifying being left in a car and you're not even in the car when this is going on. If you are going to go to a fireworks display and you're going to leave your dog at home, which is where they should be, make sure that they're indoors. Do not leave them in the backyard because they will can and will jump a very high fence, dig under a fence, break through a gate. They'll do anything to get away from the fireworks and they think running is the way to do it. So a lot of dogs get lost on uh, fireworks days and they can be found miles and miles away because they, once they get loose out of your yard, they just run. They don't have no idea where they're running, they're just running. So make sure they are secure in the house that means locking all windows, no screens left because a dog will go through a screen. Lock all the windows, lock all the doors and make sure that they are secure in your home. When they are at home, you wanna leave sound on, as much sound as you can. So turn on all the radios, all the televisions, loud enough to try to muffle the sound of the outside fireworks going off. If you can, close all the windows, um, curtains, blinds, because the the light itself is very scary if you're close enough that they could see flashes of light. So you want lots of sound and closing all the blinds and, and curtains in the house. Now, if you're going to be staying at home, that's a different thing. You are still going to turn on sound because the more that you can have kind of interior sound going on and it's muffling what's going on outside, it's going to help you in any manner. So you're going to turn on all the radios, watch a movie, turn up a movie louder than you would normally watch it. Not, not enough to break your eardrums, but loud enough to try to muffle the sound that's going on outside. And you are going to act super chill. There's no coddling no nurturing, no tending to, no trying to help your dog physically through it because that is only going to convince your dog they're already in a state of fear. So if you're acting as if you're trying to help them and it's okay and acting out of the ordinary, that's going to fuel their fear because you are telling them something's wrong. And what we want to do is actually try to instill a sense of there is nothing wrong. It's not a big deal. So if you can feed them their dinner, play a game of ball, get some extra treats out. If your dog eats dry kibble, even if they eat other food, try to feed them during the fireworks. It creates a positive association to these loud booming noises. Keep yourself super chill. Super chill because you want your dog, you want to give off this sense of, I don't care. Fireworks are nothing, nothing. So chill. So when your dog looks at you, that's what you want to be portraying, that you don't care at all, okay? So if you can feed them during fireworks, if you can give them special treats, if you're watching a movie and you have a big bowl of, you know, not too much butter or anything, popcorn, share your popcorn with them. Play a game of catch. Teach your dog to catch before the day the fireworks are going to arrive so they can do that. If you have a big retriever dog, take that time that the fireworks are going off to play a game of ball, uh, frisbee, uh, play hide and seek, play a super game of tug of war. So if you can interact with your dog and do something else while the fireworks are going off, you can actually teach your dog that it's not such a big deal. We don't have to be paralyzed in fear. So dogs learn through association. So if only good things happen during fireworks, it will lessen the power of the fear of fireworks. Now it's not, it, it doesn't often get rid of it completely, 
but it definitely lowers the fear, the, the fear response. They're not so, you know, I'm going to bolt out an open door, go over the fence and just run. So it's very important that you try to have a regular day or even a, a really super fun day of playing ball in the house and when you would normally, you know, cheer for your dog because they did a super catch, you're going to go crazy. You're going to, you're going to up your cheering. Whoa, this is great. And really try to get your dog getting the sense from you that this is a great time. And that way the fireworks won't have so much power over the fear because they'll be involved in a game. Dogs that know, understand hide and seek, that's a great thing to play. Tug of war, it's very interactive with you. Again, the balls, um, if you've got a high drive dog, do that during the fireworks and don't respond to the big loud booms. If they respond, you do the opposite. You show them that it is like super chill that that is happening. And when you do this and you stop nurturing, coddling, trying to make them feel better, you will be assisting them, helping them through their fear, through fireworks. So that's, that's with it right around the corner. We have Canada Day and July 4th right around the corner. Uh, I will be talking about what you can do throughout the year to help them to prepare for fireworks. So stay safe, have fun, keep your dog in the house, and be chill.